this morning, a report just out on headlight safety. There may be real good reason why you have trouble seeing while you're driving at night. News 8's Kim Pierce driving around in our mobile weather van this morning with more on this report. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Laura and Keith. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tested 31 mid-sized cars, and of those 31, they only found one car whose headlights they could actually rate as good. Now, historically, there have been two goals for headlights, let you see what's in front of you, and don't blind the drivers that are coming at you. But there are new technologies and new priorities that are changing that, and not always for the better. The IIHS took a bunch of cars around a track at night and measured how well they illuminate, including how they do on turns. Now, a big deal for years have been those high-intensity discharge headlights. They last longer and look brighter, but it turns out they don't actually perform any better on tests than halogen lights. LED lights look cool, but they've turned headlights into all different shapes, and they're not really any better either. There is technology that does help. There are curve adaptive technology that actually turns the beam in the direction you're turning the steering wheel. There are also automatic high beams that sense if there are other vehicles around. They put the brights on or off accordingly. Yet still with all that technology, only the Toyota Prius and only the model with the LED lights and the high tech package, only that car had headlights that the IIHS rated as good. 10 cars ended up with a poor rating and cost is not necessarily a good indicator because the worst rated lights were actually on the BMW 3 Series. If you're driving in the dark in your Beamer, the study says you should stay below 35 miles per hour. That's the speed at which you'll be able to stop in time when you see something ahead of you with those poor headlights, 35 miles per hour. We're live in the Mobile Weather Lab this morning in Orange. I'm Kent Pierce, back to you. All right, Kent, thank you.